So your vehicle has been determined a total loss. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that the insurance company has determined that it's just going to cost too much to fix your vehicle, possibly more than what it's actually worth. So in this case, they determine a total loss, which means it will not be repaired. Now, as the vehicle owner, there's several things you need to keep in mind in order to make it through this total loss process. The first is you want to make sure that you maintain possession of the vehicle. You see, once you release your vehicle, then you've really lost your power to negotiate as far as the value of what your vehicle is worth. So you want to maintain that. Now, maintaining you know, the, the vehicle itself means you could store it at your home or leave it at the collision repair facility where it's currently at. The second thing is, is that the insurance company is going to give you an offer. That means that they're going to say, here's what we're willing to pay you for your vehicle. As a vehicle owner or consumer, you have the right to ask them what was the basis of that offer that they made to you? Like, how did they determine what your vehicle's worth? And what you need to do is you need to make sure that whatever offer they've made to you is going to be based on a vehicle that's comparable to yours, meaning that it's the same exact year, if not newer, as well as it has the same exact features on the vehicle. Now, before we talk a little about how you to determine what features are on your vehicle, there are also a couple other considerations. You want to make sure that you take your tags off and turn your tags in at the Department of Motor Vehicles, meaning your license plate, once the vehicle is declared a total loss. Now, Danny, how can we determine what that vehicle is worth? Yeah, great point, Mike. So when your vehicle is declared a total loss, uh, you may have the uh, the window sticker when you purchase the vehicle new, and that's going to identify all the build packages, the uh, the trim levels that the vehicle uh, came standard with, or any additions that the dealership had added on afterwards. If you don't have that original sticker, you can call the manufacturer's dealership and give them the VIN number of the car, and they will print you a report of all the same information, you know, the, the packages, the trim level, anything specific for that vehicle you have. So that way you can compare it to the comps that the insurance company has given you. Once you've come to an agreement with your total loss, you can then work on clearing out your personal uh, 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 contents, you know, like your personal um, uh, things out of the trunk, the glove box, the center console. So grab, grab all those little things like garage door openers, this, uh, car seats in the car. So that way those are not going to go away with the vehicle. Once you've cleared all your personal contents out of the car, the last most important step is to clear that data out of your car. And again, clearing the data can include, you know, uh, erasing your garage door code, your, uh, your, your phone's information that you've synced up with it, like contacts or addresses, text messages, or even navigation addresses that are stored in there. So what, it's very important that we clear all that personal information out of the car's computer system so that way no one has access to it when they take possession of the car. So we hope this tip helped you with your total loss settlement. If you found today's tip helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and share the video with your family and friends. Comment below for any future suggestions. These videos are made possible by the Society of Collision Repair Specialists. SCRS and their members are committed to the future of the collision repair industry and serving you, the consumer, well. For more information, visit scrs.com or use the link in the description below.